what they have found in what's called the Cave of Horror, where skeletons were found years ago, uh, are fragments of Greek Zechariah and Nahum. But Craig, let's talk about the discovery in March 2021. Uh, where there were dozens of Dead Sea Scroll fragments that were found recently. What exactly did they find? Most scholars, when they talk about the Dead Sea Scrolls, they talk about the ones at Qumran and nearby caves that are connected to Qumran. But uh, <clears throat> there were other caves further south at Mura Ba'at and at Nahachever. And so the most important ones from our point of view are scrolls that date to the Bar Kokhba era. And these are scrolls that would be at the beginning of the second century. Bar Kokhba fought his rebellion, 132 to 135, ended in defeat. There were people who fled, hid in these caves. What they have found in what's called the Cave of Horror, where skeletons were found years ago, uh, are fragments of Greek Zechariah and Nahum. And so what do you know? And I think what this tells us is, you know what? It's worth looking in these caves. I've had people say, well, what's the big deal? Just go in and look at all the caves, you know, with a flashlight, you know, and take a look. <laughs> but what you don't know is these caves are ha a lot of times they are halfway filled up with debris, dust, bat dung, guano, you know, and so on. And you're crawling around. So it's not easy. You don't just walk in like an empty room with a flashlight and say, oh, there's nothing here. You really have to excavate it. Mm -hmm. And so it's a lot of work. Work. And that's how they found Cave 12, you know, four years ago. They found some leather fragments, no text, but they found scroll jars and so on. That's related to Qumran. But this cave, miles south, is not. It's related to the Bar Kokhba era. And so we have more uh, fragments in uh, Greek of these two minor prophets that I mentioned. The big takeaway for me is, you know, you got Greek translation, and yet you come to the divine name, and instead of writing it out as kurios, which would be usually what they do in Greek, or even trying to sound it out with Greek letters so it sounds like Yahweh, it actually has Hebrew, the tetragrammaton written in Hebrew, Yahweh. And I think, well, that's very interesting. Mm -hmm. Switches back into the Hebrew language. I've looked at some of the images. They do seem to be the same style of Greek that we found uh, in the second century in the same caves. So I'm guessing it probably is a late first, early second century copy of Zechariah and Nahum. You know, when the new find came out, people were advertising it as a new Bible was discovered, you know. Uh, <laughs> but what should a Christian know and keep in the back of their mind as they see uh, sometimes these sensationalized kinds of uh, reports about the Dead Sea Scrolls? Well, they need to know that the scrolls are a good thing. It's all good news. And it, they shouldn't be put off because crackpots and sensationalists <laughs> make claims that, the, that are irresponsible. Uh, I've, I've given many talks on the scrolls. I've had people uh, who are Christians in the audience say, why, why, why are you talking about the scrolls? I understand they embarrass Christianity. They say things about Jesus being married to Mary Magdalene or something like that. And this is the damage that that kind of irresponsible stuff Stuff does and so guys like me and Daryl you know all of us we need to weigh in and say hold on a minute the, the scrolls don't talk about that stuff the scrolls are a good thing and they really help us understand scripture better help us understand Jesus better there's nothing in the scrolls that embarrasses uh, Christianity or the church <laughs>